Hello world and internet people. It is your friendly neighborhood chef, Chef Lethal, here with an early morning Sunday episode for you. Well, I'm recording it on Sunday, Saturday, whoops. But uh, it is early for me, so low-key, sensual, raspy voice going on. Glasses face. You know, some YouTubers might actually, like, become presentable before they show themselves to the world, but not me. I march to the tune of a different beat something like that. Anyway guys, it is episode 11 in here, the DNS tech pack, and if you don't know where I am, it's because I haven't shown this area yet, but this is the space underneath my, my tower. I cleared it out the other day. I've spent a lot of time on like AFK stuff and just general mining and clearing out, so I've got a lot to show you. Um, this is the first thing I want to show you. Uh, eventually, once I can like get the walls decorated and stuff, this area down here is going to be my designated like Emmy master chamber. So I've got a chunk loader here. I'm gonna have to move down or something. But uh, this is an entire chunk. This is 16 by 16, right underneath my main area. So what I'm gonna end up having doing is having um, controllers there in the ceiling, Emmy controllers, and like wires coming down, and just having all of my processing down here, uh, whereas in the last series I had, I had it on the compact machine. Uh, I'm going to try to do things a little bit differently with this one. Um, so we'll see how that goes. And then if we go up here, um, I've kind of moved things around and I've got pretty much this room is done as far as decorating goes. I may you know, put some things on the walls or other things uh, and I have to clean it up a bit, but my system's offline probably because I'm out of power. All right. Let's just try to like conserve this lava because I don't have an ender pump yet. All right, so here we go. So I've got uh, five drives now. They're all 64k, and I've one. I've noticed that this is the thing that's really holding me back is starting out doing the 64k drives because I have to do a lot of mining to get one drive, and then I fill it up immediately because it only takes 63 different items. So I've got this chest over here full of things that are just one-offs that are just going to consume spaces until I can get at least this drive full of disks. So if we go in here, I've got it all. It's pretty sweet. This is like the main, uh, you know, my main deal. I get by item name. So I've got lots of stuff. Not as much as I need or as I want, but it's a good start. Um, so yeah, I like this room a lot. I like the, the purple and the blue. The ceiling's just a stone chiseled ceiling. I've got a little XP tank here just to, um, you know, because I was, I was up to like level 50 and I was like, I'm not really making good use of my experience here. Uh, so we go up to the Tinker Room. I pretty much got this room finished as well. I don't think anything can spawn. Let me make sure F7 is... What's F7 doing? Okay, F7 is on, so nothing can spawn in here. I like this Azure block from Z-Tones. Uh, I've got an enormous smelter. This is the largest smelter I've ever built. Um, so it holds all sorts of... It'll, it'll just smelt out immense amounts of things. I think my, my theme that I want to go for this season is just absurd wealth. <laughs> um, so that's why I'm going to be going for the, the five times or processing here shortly, um, or whenever I can afford it, really. But that's why I really want to get my quarry going in the deep dark, because of the the multi, like the two times four generation. Um, so this is cool. These are just nether, nether rack over here, chisel nether rack. I like the, the, the deep blue color to the stone brick. Um, I think that's a pretty cool contrast with the dark black and blue ceiling. And then we go up here. This is the, the piece de resistance at this moment. This room is not done, <laughs> obviously. But I have a reactor, guys. I didn't show this on camera because it's a starter little reactor thing. Um, and it produces, well, it's off right now because it's completely full, but it, it produces about 1,400 RF per tick. Um, I think the config is set to just a regular one times, whereas with um, Resident Rise, it was set to, I think, three times by default. Um, so, yeah, so I've, I've got this off right now. I've got a ton of yellow, right? Not in here, but I've got a ton of it, um, enough to keep this running for a long time. But I want to get a system set up first. Um, so... Probably just like recharge energy cells right here for the time being until we can get energy transportation. Um, but this is pretty cool. So I don't know what other stuff I'm going to have in here, but I've got laboratory blocks here on the ground. And this is another brick 
that I have uh, chiseled up to look like fire, which is cool. And obviously this is nowhere near done, but um, and the dirt's here just as a, a guide for me to know where to go. Uh, one more thing before I show you the next really big thing is I built I built a builder's wand, guys. I figured I'd do it off camera. Uh, I didn't have time to record, and I needed to get it done for a project I was working on. Um, so I hope you don't hate me too bad. No explosion. It was very no drama involved. That's why that crafting table was upstairs that you saw with the reactor. Um, it's just one unstable ingot with a piece of obsidian. Um, so just to show you, just in case you don't, you're not aware, uh, it's this builder's wand, and it's a piece of obsidian with a an unstable ingot. And you make the unstable ingot by, I did it this way, the cheap way, the dangerous way, <laughs> with the division sigil that we got in the last episode from the, the ritual. And then splitting a diamond and an iron gets you unstable ingot, takes you 10 seconds to, you have 10 seconds to then use it, otherwise it explodes and causes catastrophe. So if we go up here, uh, this is the next thing I want to show you. It's a new tower. Things can spawn in these trees. Alright, so check this out. This, I think, is pretty cool. So, actually, let me turn on hover mode and fly back. So, this tower is huge. Uh, I forgot the exact dimensions, but it, I think it's like 17 by 17 or something like that. It might even, it's, I think it's bigger. It might be 19 by 19. I can't remember, but it's huge. And I got it made with this abyssal stone from Railcraft. You find it um, in the bottom of the oceans, so it's kind of rare. But uh, I, got a, I got a bunch of it, I found a bunch of it, and I really like it. I like the darkness and the kind of plainness with the, the etched lines. And I got the carpenter's wedges on top uh, and on the sides there, just kind of creating like little spiky doos. Uh, and then these zone blocks uh, on the bottom. It's a little trippy to look at, but I kind of like... I like the effect it gives. I might change out some of this a little bit later, but right now I like it. Let me know what you guys think. Um, if it's too much, or if it's just enough. But then going downstairs, this is what actually we're going to be working on today. Is I built out this room. Now I quick, I've quickly learned that building things underwater sucks. Because uh, I had to... Now, seriously help me out with this. What is a better way to get rid of all the water in an area when you're building underwater? Um, because everything just is source blocks. Uh, so I tried using a sponge from open blocks and that didn't work. Um, so I ended up just filling this all up with dirt and then excavating it all out with my nose picker. Um, oh, I have a modifier remaining. That is good. I just got that today, actually. So you may be wondering, what are these little quadrants? This is what we're going to work on today. Each one of these little squares is five by five. Okay, that's five by five. That's five by five. And this is five by five. I'm going to be putting cursed earth in each one of these little cubes and then a grinder system and these are going to be what generates my my uh, my my XP essence magic juice for uh, my auto spawners that I'm going to have like in levels below this um, so yeah last time I had a big problem with things blowing up or not being close enough to the grinder with this setup it guarantees that everything will be in grinder uh, range and if I have three of them it'll be working relatively efficiently I think so uh, I'm gonna start with just one because I don't have the resources to to make those um, so what I'm going to do is let's go back to the main tower here <clears throat> excuse me now guys uh, I'm not gonna just have it like this the whole time as far as like having to fly back and forth um, <clears throat> excuse me gosh there will be a time soon, hopefully, that I can get the Ender IO traveling staff and just teleport from here to there and back and forth and stuff. But for now, this is what we have to do. All right, so I had to cut there, take some coffee to get some stuff out of my throat. Ooh. All right, so let's um, let's throw all this back in here if we can. Yes, great. Now what we're gonna do is uh, I need to find a grinder, and by find I mean make. So I've made all the little pieces here that we need. So I should be able to go like that. Awesome. <clears throat> so to power it, I'm just going to use a um, an energy cell that I, I made. It's very low capacity. Uh, and then so I don't need an energy conduit, but what I, what I will need is a fluid conduit. 
And I'm not going to use this because I don't know if it's going to work for what I need. Um, so I'm going to try to see where the Ender IO fluid conduit is. Here we go. Can I make this? Oh, I should be able to make that. Oh, I'm missing glass. Oh, quite clear glass. Oh, haha. <laughs> I've got that. Don't you worry. That's quartz. Here we go. So I can just <laughs> chisel that right up. Boop. <laughs> I wonder, is that supposed to be a thing that, um, okay, so if you alloy smelt glass, you automatically get that. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. There we go. All right. Fluid conduit. And then just as a temporary thing, um, let me make a drum. So I can make a drum. Oh, that holds 65 million. I don't need quite that much. Um, so let's do this one. I've got plenty of iron. I actually... Okay. I need two of these. Perfect. Cauldron. Extra perfect. And make a drum. Fantastical. Alright, let me grab the Cursed Earth. Uh, let me just take one piece for now. It'll spread. And then... How much obsidian? I've got 56 obsidian. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, I'm going to regret using all of this, but... Oh, hey, you're done. Um, whoops. <laughs> Did not mean to do that. Regular end stone. I didn't even know that had a chisel. Guess it makes sense. Right now, these ender lilies are my main source of ender pearls. And uh, they take a long time, but I've been doing enough AFK and, and just kind of general work that I've got 35 ender pearls. It's pretty decent. Pretty decent. Alright, so let's fly back over here. And let's see what kind of trouble we can get ourselves into. Alright, so if I'm not mistaken, this grinder will work. Oh, that slowed me down. What happened? All right, this grinder will work one down and one up. So this should be totally fine here. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Well, I'm going to need a place to put... How did I do this before? Um, let's see. Wonder if I can go. Let's try this. I don't know if this is going to work. Um, will that work? There's only one way to find out, I guess. Um, and then if we put. I'm going to totally regret this, I, I know. It's that. And let's change that to zero for now and go like that. So this will have power soon. <clears throat> Golly, man, there's something in my throat and it's driving me crazy. Let me go get a chest. Here we go. <clears throat> I am so sorry. If, it, if I feel another something in my throat, I'll cut away. Because I know I hate when... I hear YouTube videos, and the person's clearing their throat the whole time. Uh, what was I looking for? Oh, yeah, chest. Ah, this Emmy system, guys, has been just amazing. I love this. The best mod in the game. Yeah, best mod in the game. I hate going through chests. Even with other mods that can relocate. It's the easiest. Sure, it's labor-intensive and stuff, but, man, just can't get any, any better than that. Um... Alright, so let... Oops. Oh, dang it. Alright, I think I have a decent little setup here. And this actually kind of works because I can see inside here. For now. I mean, I'll close this up once I get a more permanent solution. Um, but for right now, I think this will work. I'm not too concerned about this dirt converting. And this is three high. I don't want to completely seal it off yet. So let us... Go like this, go like that, and get out of here. And let's take a peek at what happens. 
Things should definitely be able to spawn in there. Let me eat just in case things go awry. And actually, I don't want to give it power yet. I want to make sure that things will start spawning. All right, it's been about a minute. We have our first creeper. He looks he looks mad. So let's turn this on. All right, so let's turn on a little bit more. Let's go like that. <gasps> it is working. Okay, good. Great. All right, so we got our first creeper. So confirm that they will spawn. Confirm that the grinder will kill them. This should not be draining. Good. And I confirm that this will take in this configuration, and we have our gunpowder. Yes, this is a huge, 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 huge step. I think the next step will be I need to chisel all of this obsidian and make it look good. <laughs> all right, so, yeah, I do need to... Ooh, I like that. I like that a lot. I think that's what I'm going to do. That looks really, really cool. So I'm going to... Uh, uh. Sometimes this chisel can be so sensitive. It's like you have to just tap, and even then you might get a double double tap. Bones. Lucy. <laughs> oh, my dog's being crazy. Uh, but this is good. This is a really, really good start. It's going to be a little slow um, for right now until all of this converts. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to have to go get some more obsidian for sure. And uh, this is great. I'm really excited about this, actually. So once this gets going, i got a chunk load this area, too. But once this gets going, um, I'm going to be able to use that essence to fuel all sorts of, of things. I can put it into an ender tank, um, you know, ender tank setup and stuff. So that is awesome. So when I leave, that's actually going to probably no longer be chunk loaded. Might be a problem. We'll make it work. I'm not going to worry too much about it right now. I just wanted to make sure it got set up and would work. Uh, so that is confirmed, which is amazing. Right, let's grab this. I'm trying to harvest these every time I see them and not wait because they do take, even on endstone, they take forever. Really long time. All right, so let's go like this, like this, like this. Um. If we started working towards an ender quarry, I know it's ridiculously expensive. Oh man, it's so expensive. <laughs> so I need the QED, don't I? Wait, I have a fluid transposer. I can do that. That's easy. So let's see what we need. Let's just have some fun. Um, so I need two ender infused. Uh, each ender core is magical wood with more ender infused obsidian so that's dang it that's 8 9 10 11 and then two of these 11 plus another 8 so basically we need 20 ender infused obsidian that's not too bad looks like we need three eye of enders I thought we needed a QED. Wait, am I clicking on the right thing? Ender quarry. Why do you need thermic pumps? That's weird. And saplings. I got saplings. Hmm. Now the problem is, I don't have the storage. <laughs> I don't have the storage to be able to um, facilitate <laughs> a an ender quarry. I don't have a lot of things. And if we look at my Certus situation, I've got eight in there, and 16, like 22, and then some charged Certus. So my Certus Quartz situation, not looking great. I would need at least another drive, I think. Uh, another empty drive, because I've only got three slots available. I would need another empty drive in order to... Um, Make, I'm trying to figure out like the best way. Uh, oh man! No, tiny, big, giant, maximum. How giant? 
I don't know, guys. Um, I don't know. I think I need to do more mining. Oh, I know I need to do a lot more mining. That's the problem. I'm doing so much mining. And the big problem with having an, an iron hammer like this, or just the hammer in general, is um, it takes forever to, to, re, to recharge because the moss on it. So I was like, I'll use it for a while, and then I can't use it because it needs to re recharge and re re repair. That's the word I'm looking for. Um, so hold on, guys. I'll be right back. All right, guys. So um, this is now part two of our two-part um, <laughs> water clearing special. No, I'm kidding. Um, I uh, I got sidetracked yesterday after I had to pause recording, and I spent like three hours. Uh, doing resource collection and caving and uh, other things and now I am trying to get rid of all the water that is uh, underneath my tower of doom I'm gonna call it doom tower uh, and uh, again if you ever um, decide that you want to build underwater don't do it it's such a pain and uh, I guess I could have waited to see if any of you guys had any suggestions about what would be easier, but uh, I'm doing this and it sucks. It's taking me forever, but I'm, I'm making decent progress, I think. Luckily, this isn't a super, super deep ocean. It just kind of goes a little bit... Um, actually, down here is the, the bottom level, so... I guess I do still have quite a bit to go, but... It's, it's going. The Builder's One helps out a lot. Uh, and you may notice that I have turned off my webcam. It's because it is the next day, and I look like crap. <laughs> I look like such crap that... um. I didn't even want to show it. But guys, check this out. So my um, Cursed Earth spawner thingy here is working like a charm. And uh, I, I've installed some, some glowstone here in the back. And I think the side over here... Oh no, the glowstone's gone. Oh, it must have blown up. Hmm. Well, I've got that to hopefully slow down the spawns because I don't have... I have... My barrel over here is full. Which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I'm getting lots of lots of materials. I've got this cool looking sword, this draconic blade. I don't know what it does. Uh, it looks oh, it's almost gone. Durability 25. Uh, looks pretty sweet. But yeah, I'm getting some ender pearls, lots of gunpowder. So this will help out quite a bit. So let's go back up because I think I think I think we are able to do one more cool thing before the end of this episode. And I think what I want to try to do is build an ender quarry. I don't have enough cobblestone to go to the deep dark yet, but I hopefully will soon. If anything else, I can just create like a cobble generator. Never thought you'd need one of those, huh? <laughs> Sometimes you do. Steel sword. Uh, oh, I also created... It over here in the chest. I have the head taker, reinforced three, uh, cleaver from Tinker's Construct. So I'm gonna go to the to the Nether and start killing up some wither skeletons with that guy, and try to get some heads so we can eat a wither boss. Whoops. Uh, hopefully, and um, get some Nether stars and stuff. But let's see. We we're trying to make an Ender Quarry. Let's do this thing. So one, I need a diamond pickaxe. Do I have any of these? I have the sapling. All right, I need a diamond pick. I'm actually running kind of low on diamonds. It's kind of frightening. Uh, so I need one, two, and then eight. So I need 10 of the ender infused. Let's do three recipes of that. And then we'll do two ender cores. Oh, I need an eyes of Ender. Two Eye of Ender. Good. Alright, so that's two Ender cores. And. Okay, I need two more Eyes of Ender. And more Ender infused obsidian. Yeah. Okay. That should do. I said I needed two more eyes of Ender. 
Ooh, 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 that's the last of my blaze powder. I need two buckets of water. I need two iron pickaxes. Okay, whoops. So two buckets of water, two buckets of lava. Bucket. Bucket. Quarry. This is pretty exciting. Thermic pump. And Ender thermic pump. Very cool. Oh, I need the burnt quartz. Uh, that's just smelting up a block of quartz. Which I definitely have some. Let's go ahead and do that. And do I have room up here? Yep, I sure do. How many did I need? I don't remember. Ender quarry. I almost typed ender quartz. <laughs> I need four of those and four more diamonds. Oh man. Oh, it's going into the chest. Two, three. Oh, that burnt quartz though. That looks so nice. Do, do. Ender quarry. Here we go. Ender quarry. Sweet. So, the good thing about the ender quarry is I can set it up and it will only run if it has power and a place to put things. So, I could go and just run a small temporary ender quarry just to um, get some materials going and just have it hooked up to chests sort of a ghetto way to do it. Um, I may do that. Um, I'm saying um a lot, guys. I apologize. What I also want to do, uh, just to wrap up this episode, because I think we're getting about the time, I want to go ahead and make, see if I can make one more drive. So I do, I've, I've kind of done a lot of the logic processing, so I've got the 27 1K storages that I need. I should be able to make nine of those that I need, very good, which then go to a 16k, I should be able to do that, no problem, and then that goes to a 64k, goes like that, boom, and then, oh, so close to a perfect, so close to a perfect run, let's just make a little bit of that, and now we have another storage. So that's really great. We've almost got a full drive here, full of 64k storages. So this is really good. This is going to help quite a bit. And then just to show you guys um, the deep dark, it's four quadruple compressed cobblestone and one quintuple, and then the four unstable ingots. So if we look at compressed, I've got two quadruple seven triple so I'm I'm not even really that close <laughs> uh, so I think I'm gonna have to have the quarry set up or just do a ton of mining we'll see but anyway guys I think I'm gonna call the episode here um, I've got a lot of work to do to get ready for the next episode I think the next thing that I'm gonna try to do is get into the triple or processing from mechanism because uh, we have power set up, I need to move all this downstairs, and I have this set up in case you're wondering, this is going to be an array of ME controllers, <clears throat> excuse me, and I'm going to have my three interfaces here, uh, the crafting, the pattern, and something else, <laughs> uh, and then down here, oh, hello, forgot about these, down here, uh, it'll just be open, so I can just have things kind of up there. But uh, yeah, I'm going to collect these berries, and then I'm going to go. So I want to thank you guys for watching this episode, and I will see you all next time.